that there should be a young band playing here tonight. But they're not there. I mean, we don't have anything happening in Europe. You know, the only place that there's any rock and roll uh, culture left is the States, where every little town has a rock and roll bar, rock and roll club, and you'll see four or five bands a week there. You've got kids there who are playing in front of people, they're learning every night and they're getting better, they're getting better, they're getting good. What do we got here? We got discos. Discos, you know, rave parties, rap crap. You know, there's nothing going on for young European musicians, but I'm, okay, maybe I'm generalizing. British musicians, no of no them to play. And that, you just end up with a generation of people who've got all the good intentions in the world, but can't play. Nowhere to, nowhere to learn. And that's very sad. The 37 shows we did in, uh, in Europe, you know, were done at, at an energy level and at, at an ability level that I've rarely seen this band att uh, attain before. You know, uh, I think we played as well as we've ever played. Uh, as a unit, it was cohesive. It, I mean, on, on stage it had a, a wonderful kind of combination of, of uh, improvisation and discipline, which is hard to attain. It's hard to, to, and it's hard to keep going. This tour has been sold out from beginning to end, and uh, I was expecting that. Most of the people here to see us are young, young uh, 18 to 25 year olds um, who had never seen Deep Purple before, and they've come along to see what it's all about. And if I thought it was just a nostalgia trip, an oldies but goodies tour, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel that. So I, I, I asked Richie, and Richie's of the opinion that uh, this whole tour has been successful. Oh, it's just nostalgia. That's all he said, just nostalgia. And I disagree with him fundamentally there. I don't think it's nostalgia. I think it's partly nostalgia. But I think the band is a vital happening thing, or was. The only thing we can now expect uh, from A, the band, and B, the audience, is, is, uh, is the ability to accept the band's desire to, to have fun. If, in the process of having that fun, we can actually turn on the people who think there is no life after Blackmore, then that'll be great. If we can't turn those people on, then that's also cool, because, um, you know, life does not depend on that man, as far as we're concerned anymore. 